Hey everyone, welcome back to Fish Hunt Northwest. We're here in the kitchen for the recipe of the week with Chef Kelly. And as always, you have something incredible. What do we have here? Tuna. Tuna. Yeah. Yes, albacore tuna. We're gonna do a sesame seared albacore tuna with ponzu sauce. Ponzu. Yes, this, okay. is, this is straight up, like straight from the sushi restaurant. Compound. Yeah, great appetizer. <laughs> You having fun, huh? Oh uh, yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's start with the ponzu sauce. Okay, so it's a few exotic ingredients, but it's not too bad. Okay, so we're gonna use some dried kelp or kombu. Okay. It just, it just comes out like uh, seaweed fruit leather. Or a roll-up. <laughs> yeah. Fruit roll-up, so, seafood roll-up. Uh, then we have uh, banana flakes. This is a, a good product if you like to uh, make your own dashi. Uh, or What's dashi? Dashi is the stock you use for uh, making miso soup. Oh, miso soup. Yeah, everybody loves miso, miso. soup, right? Yes. Uh, then mirin, it's a sweet uh, rice wine. And then sake, everybody knows what sake is. Sake. Especially after a couple of them, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even on the sake. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, over here, we took the uh, mirin, so a cup of mirin, a cup of sake, a three inch strip of the kombu, and one package of this. So that's about a half a cup of uh, the bonito flakes. Okay. And about two teaspoons of chili flakes. And so we have that reduced down. Okay. Okay. And so, let's put that there for now. Uh, so then we're going to add a cup of soy sauce to this. Exactly one cup. Okay. Now you weren't paying attention. Okay. Uh, <laughs> juice of two lemons. Exactly one cup. Yes. Okay. I always know they're exact. I don't even have to question it. I know. See? Yeah. I can hear it. I don't even Juice have of two limes. There we go. We're just going to stir that around. So all citrus. All citrus. So typically you would do like one lemon and one lime and then a cup of uh, rice wine vinegar. I kind of tend to like a, a more just straight citrus. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of just rice wine vinegar uh, for this. So. Okay. Have it your way. Right? Yep. Always is. At least when you're and here I, in this kitchen. And I'm always right. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I'll give you once a week. <laughs> okay, so our ponzu sauce is ready. All right, okay. so let's talk about our tuna. So our tuna loin, we cut it kind of like one bite size. So kind of like an inch and a half around about there, no, okay. an inch a quarter, right? Okay. So then we're going to we're going to season it and season it pretty heavy. Um, and, you know, it's a thick piece of meat. So it can take more seasoning like that. Yeah, then? than than typically because you got to imagine I'm going to slice this, so you're only getting an edge of that seasoning. All, you know, for every bite. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so all, you know, all that is just unseasoned. So there you go. Pepper too? Pepper, a little bit of pepper. There you go. Did you get it? It almost got away. <laughs> Okay, so we have uh, two types of uh, sesame seeds today. Here, take care of that. And uh, so we have the untoasted raw sesame seeds here. And then uh, I have shown Sherry there uh, the toasted ones, which are great because they have a lot of flavor all ready to go. Because, you know, if you just had a mouthful of these, you're like, eh, eh. Yeah. You know? But since you're searing it, they would burn. They would burn, right? before, yeah, because if you're using the already toasted ones. See, I listen. Uh, yeah. yeah, sometimes. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we have a pan already hot, really ripping hot here. We're gonna have okay. a good amount of oil in there. Don't be one of those people, oh, I don't like, you know, use a lot of oil in my cooking. It's, this is one of those where you'll just have burn spots and it's just not good. Oh, to evenly sear it. Right. Yeah. And so this is going to go really quick, guys. So this is not going to be, oh, three minutes on each side. No, just as soon as you get color, you're flipping it, and it's probably you're going to see it probably within a minute. It's going to be done. Wow. So we're just going to get a, you know, a little light little sear. Okay. On there. 
I don't want my sesame seeds burnt. So just, you know, nice little golden brown. Now that doesn't take long. Oop, popped at me. Got a sesame seed. Don't be scared. Okay, I won't be. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. See how quick that was? I mean, it was yeah. like, I don't know. It might have been a minute. I was thinking more like it's like probably like 50 seconds. So you need a sharp knife. Okay, and you just slice it. Just slice it nice and thin. thin. Like mm, eighth of an inch Eighth of an maybe? inch, yeah. Yeah. So you can see light sear all the way around. It's, oh. it's pretty much raw in the center. Awesome. Okay, so... Looks delicious. And you've never had sushi. No. That has, you know, before this, right? No. Right? So this is kind of new territory. Yeah. I'm sure I'm going to love it, though. I just don't do the whole sushi bar type things. I don't know. I'm gonna, I probably would like it. I'm going to change, change your mind. my mind. Oh, yes. Okay. Absolutely. Well, you've changed my mind on a lot, actually, so. Okay. So, in the center, we're just going to put some pickled ginger. And you like the pink. I like the pink ginger. ginger. It's just a little bit uh, sweeter. Okay. Okay. So, just a little mm. like that. One of those. And... Come here, you. <laughs> okay, so avocado. Oh, I see you're alternating. Yeah. Let me get this out of your way. Uh, it's okay. I don't need any fingers. <laughs> yes, you do. What? Yes. You're so delicate about it. It's just amazing, Chef. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like a klutz. Well, not in the kitchen. That's for sure. Okay. Here we go. Just, just work them around and... Yep, just work around just like that. Okay. Okay, and then we are going to make a little sushi... A, uh, Pickled ginger rose. I for just me? Like, yeah, just for you. Okay. Usually I just kind of take a piece, kind of roll it up like that. Yeah. And then just put it right on top like that. There you go. Look how talented you are. In the sauce. And our ponzu sauce. Ponzu sauce. This is way better than, than your store-bought stuff because you know, it should have nice, fresh citrus notes to it. Uh -huh. So, you know, how could you have a, you know, a bottled sauce that's going right. to have that fresh pop of, of citrus? Okay, so just a little bit of green onions around for some extra color. Well, they sure know how to make it look incredible. So. Okay, sure. maybe a little sesame oil because we are using uh, sesame seeds. Here we go. And then the toasted ones. Then the toasted sesame seeds, which are some of my favorite. Uh, there, and there we go. Wow. Easy Just peasy, like guys. That. Five minutes, and you have an amazing, uh, probably $15 at a sushi restaurant. Really? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. There's a sesame seared albacore tuna with avocado and ponzu sauce. Guys, please try it out. It's very easy, and it's tuna season, so... Go get you some.